Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from JDM Right Hand Drive. We are going to be installing the Perrin Pitch Stop for the 2022 Plus VBWX. If you guys are curious about how to install it, how to torque everything down to the right specs, I'm gonna show you in today's video. So I installed a Cobb Pitch Stop on here originally and being that everything else on the car is Perrin Performance, I reached out to Perrin and they shipped me one of these. So this has really nice um, energy suspension bushings in here. They're really thick, really beefy. One piece solid aluminum, uh, billet aluminum, it's all machined out. You see like the nice Perrin logos on the uh, poly bushings, really nice. So we'll get this uh, installed today. I also have a bunch of other Perrin parts here. They even sent me a test part um, that I can't show you, but I can show you these if you guys want to see um, all these other parts. We've got a clutch delay valve delete. We've got drive shaft carrier bearing support bushings. And drive shaft lockdown. You guys leave me a hashtag Perrin down below if you want to see the install videos for all those parts. I can easily get my WRX on the quick jacks in the garage, do all the installs, show you guys how it's done, test all the parts, kind of give you guys my feedback. We've got the R32 GTR finally out of the garage. It went off for paint and I could not be more excited, but let's go ahead and dive into this. So if you guys are wondering why the pitch stop is important, the uh, engine with the, the factory pitch stop is plastic. So when you go over bumps, you can kind of feel the engine jostle around or if you brake or accelerate real hard, you can kind of feel it moving and pitching around. The factory one's flexible. So sometimes you get like that herky, herky jerky out of the engine. So just from like a slow. This eliminates that and kind of gives the car um, less slop uh, is one way to describe it, uh, especially with aggressive driving. If you have a top mount intercooler, you're going to want to go ahead and remove that to gain access to the pitch stop. And then for the back one, it's uh, threaded into the firewall so you don't have to put a wrench on the back side. Just get your uh, socket on it. And then let's get these out and let's compare the factory one. Let's slip that out. There we go. There we go. It comes with your bushing grease, so make sure you put that on before you install it. So you're just going to work the back part of the firewall of the pitch stop into position. And when you're trying to line up the back hole for the bolt to go through, you might have to put a screwdriver in and just kind of pry to get it exactly lined up where you want it to go. And then that'll allow your hardware to easily just slide right in. And you want to get the threads pretty much almost all the way in and started. Not tight, but um, that way you don't have to worry about muscling it in. Once you get the back through, you can just push the front down. And now our hardware is ready to come through. Back on, and walk. Get these torqued down to the specs in the parent instructions manual. 37 on the front. And we're at 43 foot pounds for the rear nut or the rear bolt. So guys, we are all in. Looks really nice. 
I like the, uh, I thought about doing black, but everything else in the engine bay is black on my other parent parts. I've got the belt cover, I've got the oil cooler, the front mount intercooler, and I just thought, and the intake and stuff, and the airbox, I just thought it would be kind of cool to have a little bit of touch of color in the back, a little bit of red, with like the little red on the battery, so kind of cool. Makes it kind of stand out a little bit more pronounced, so you can kind of tell, hey, this thing has the pitch stop in it from parent. And one thing Jeff did an update on, when you guys are doing your install, um, if you see this little thing right here, don't think that that's loose and it needs to slide up and go against this AC line. If you push it up in there, it'll pop this off and blow all your AC um, cooling out. So you don't want to do that. And just make sure that you've got enough space around these AC lines and harness and everything in here, which we do. So this install is done. The biggest thing I like bonus wise that the parent kit does give you, having that suspension bush bushing grease, makes it a hell of a lot easier to slide that into position. The cob didn't have that inside the box, it was just straight rubber, and trying to slide that rubber in, it was definitely a pain in the butt. So, good job to Jeff Parent and the boys over at uh, Parent. Nice uh, call on that. And I'll put a playlist down below. I did a VBWX, what I call like an STI inspired build so i've got install videos for all those other parts including suspension from ibok um, big sti brakes from Par or from uh, paragon performance custom rotors that we um, designed and had built for the build so if you guys want to see those videos check it out but let's uh, hop into this thing let's start it up according to the instruction manual it says that there's going to be a little bit of uh, nvh so it says right here, you can expect under certain situations, increased NVH during deceleration and during startup. You might get a little bit more vibration that transmits into the cabin, which I did know it. I did notice it immediately with the cob when I installed the cob. So let's go test this parent and see what it does. Start it up, see if we notice any difference. I don't hear any noticeable startup difference from the cob that I have installed before. Let's take it for a drive. This is the most noticeable difference with this as you drop down the curb. You don't feel the engine jostling around in the engine bay, kind of shaking the car like it did before. So yeah, I noticed that just going over bumps and stuff, it tightens up the engine. You don't feel jostling around just for normal driving. And then for big acceleration, like hard acceleration, gear changes, that engine is way more planted in the bay. And you can feel it transmit through the chassis when you're shifting. So definitely for hundred bucks, an upgrade, I would recommend the install, super simple. I'll uh, overlay some old video for the removing the top mount intercooler. I had the front mount on mine, so the install was you know, less than 10 minutes. Not bad at all for me. One thing I always like to do is to test these Brembo's guys, STI six pistons, incredible. So yeah, that install was super simple today, guys. I hope you liked the video. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you thought. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share it with your friends. If you've got WX guys and WX friends that are looking for a good VBWX channel, I pretty much have documented all the mods, tuning, and pretty much everything I've done to my car. So if you guys want to look at those old videos, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description down below. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. I will uh, see you on the next video. Take care. Thanks so much, Brandon. Yeah.